Well, that's my new fish keeping tank right there. I keep all my catfish in there sometimes four or five days before I scan them. Let them run around in clear water. I've got to clear this water up because I didn't get to fill it up uh, this morning yet uh, all the way. I'll fill it up. I got a couple of drain holes right here where the, the dirty, dirty water will drain out. And the, the uh, dirty water will go out right there and right out here. That'll keep clean, clear water in there. But welcome to me and you outside. I'm glad you're here. Hey, I'm going to try something uh, today that's going to be interesting. Now, this is Memorial Day here in the United States of America. A great, wonderful day. We honor all those who sacrificed their lives for us uh, in uh, battle, all kinds of wars and situations and military. And uh, we're so grateful. Uh, today, I'm going to, uh, my family's coming out later this evening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to feed my family a catfish dinner. Is what we're going to have today. But I also have, I see, if you may have seen on a previous video, I caught this massive drum right here. Now he probably weighs four or five pounds, which is pretty big for a drum around here. And I've got a catfish here. I caught my limit of catfish. I have them and I have a bucket full of them right there. Oh, pound and a half to three pounds maximum. But I'm gonna cook a, a drum and a catfish. And I'm gonna see if my family can tell the difference. Cause I'm gonna skin this drum and flay him out real nice and fry him with some catfish, but I want to see if they can tell the difference and what kind of a difference they can tell. I know drum is pretty good eating. A lot of people don't eat them because they just think they're nasty, but they're not. And I'll cut their uh, pearls out of their head. They're going to have some big old pearls in this drum right here because he's such a big uh, a big drum. But I'll uh, I'll get him cleaned up here in just a minute and uh, show you how I'm going to skin him, how I'm going to flay him out, and then we'll get ready to uh, uh, do a, a fry on the catfish and drum. All right, I'm ready to go. He'll make a cut right behind his gills here. I'm gonna come in here and make another cut. Right along his back here, I'm gonna cut all the way through. I'm gonna flay that all the way down. Right along the spine here. Funny thing about a drum, they have a for such a big body, they don't have a really big, big fillet. But this one here is decent because he's such a good sized fish. His uh, bone structure is weird. It's nothing like a catfish. Kind of hard to follow when you cut down through here. Okay, there's a nice fillet. Now I'll fillet this off the skin just like I would anything else. And this fillet here will have no bones. None. There's no bones on a fillet of a drum. That's a pretty good size piece of meat right there. Pretty good looking piece of meat. I'll probably cut him in a few pieces here. Just like that, actually. All right, I'll slay the other side out. Do the same thing. You don't have to be have to watch this unless I do it at a high rate of speed. All right, there you go. Second big fillet here. I'm gonna cut him in three good sized pieces. I want him frying up big hunks like that. Okay, I'll put him in a separate bag. And uh, get ready to cook him up. 
And the bottom line is, I'll see you at the frying table. Well, there you go. <clears throat> That's the ingredients needed for what we're about to do. I'm about to cook a drum, and I'm about to cook a catfish. My brother David is coming down. He's going to help me taste these two, kind of to see, uh, not no big secret or nothing. We're just going to see uh, how much more maybe we like catfish than we do drum. Or we might just see how much more we like drum than we do catfish. We are not really sure. We've never done this. We've never eaten uh, I can remember drum with other fish at the same time. I don't remember ever doing that. I probably have. I just don't remember doing it. But um, so I got my catfish right here. I'm gonna cook it first. It's in my sitting in milk. I got my drum fillets right here. They're kind of a white looking fillet, really. I mean, they're not bad. They're not a bad looking fillet, uh, you know. Overall, I got a really nice white color to them. I got my Zatarain batter right here, which I love. I got my Tom Holt uh, temperature gauge right here. You just have to point and shoot. The, the grease does such a wonderful job. Thank you, Tom. Got my pan. Got everything ready to go here. I'm going to fire this here uh, pot up right quick. Turn the gas on. She's going now. Whoa, she's fired up. I'm gonna let that get to about 360 to 365 degrees, probably 360. Drop my fish fillets in there, let them cook for five minutes or so, they're done. Pull them out, put the, the uh, then I'll put the drum in there next, cook it, and we'll just uh, uh, try to eat everything good and hot. So, stay right there. My temperature is right there, 366 degrees, I gotta go. Drop some fish in there. I got some whole catfish fillets here. And some regular pieces. I tell you what, you, whole catfish fillets fried like this, deep fried, are wonderful. That right there, look at that. That is a wonderful piece of meat. And you talk about good fried whole like that. It's unbelievable. Had to get that in there because my my, my uh, grease was getting really, really hotter than what I like it to be. But three seventy-seven. I can turn that way down. Waiting on my brother David to show up. He's gonna help me eat some of this fish. I believe it's time to take the catfish out of here. Mmm. That is looking gorgeous. I'm telling you now. Uh, now I've got this drum dropping it down into my Zatarans and shake it up just a little bit don't take much take my temperature my Tom Holt temperature gauge it's 344 crank her up just a little bit I drop that in, but look at them fillets right there. Oh, folks, that's some of the best eating right there you've ever seen. It is the best. Look at that white, that how white that meat is. That's catfish right there. I'm anxious to do this drum only because we don't eat drum a lot because everybody thinks it's nasty. People think it's like carp. It ain't nothing like carp. Nothing. Nothing like carp. Oh, gotta go here. My temperature is perfect. 
got to get to moving. Moving. Here we go. Down the drum goes. Turn it down a little bit. One of my favorite places to sit is at this table on our deck. Now, this is obviously a seasonal situation here. We can't sit here um, in most parts of November, December, January, February, March. So we can sit out here on this table on this deck overlooking this river right here. I got a couple fishing poles. Got one on a tree, a big tree right there. Got another fishing pole right here, right there. I catch a lot of catfish out of my yard. I caught one last night about three or four pounds. All right. Now I remember brother David right there. Everybody knows David. <laughs> yep. Right, David. Now what I'm gonna do, David, you don't even know which fish is which here. No, I don't have but just clue. for fun, I'm gonna give you a piece. I'm not gonna tell you where it is, okay? Because I kept everything pretty whole. And just let you try a piece, okay? Okay. Check that right there, see what you think of that. Now what we're doing here, again, one of these is a big old drum. And one of these is catfish. What is that one, David? I don't know yet. Is it good? It's delicious. <laughs> That's all that matters. Mm. So that's really good, huh? Mm. You know, it looks good. Kind of a white meat. Almost look like a color of a chicken. Like chicken meat, doesn't it, Dave? All right, here we go. Take a bite of that one there. Or you're gonna say they're both good. I just wanted to see if you can tell which one's a drum, which one's a catfish. That's a good looking piece of fish there. I can tell you which one is which. All right. This one is drum. The first one you ate? Yep. And the second one you ate is catfish? This is just a channel cat. Well, now, David, now I'll tell you right now, you're exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> it is a channel cat. Yeah. I can tell the difference. But you now, like that drum? Oh, the drum is awesome. The taste is great. The texture is great. Of the drum? Of the drum. I haven't eaten a big old hunk of drums. It's a big old piece of drum right here. That was a big drum. He weighed about six pounds. You'll be able to tell the difference. And the texture and everything and the taste. Oh boy. Let's go here. Drum right here, folks. This is drum. But it's delicious. Hmm. Well. It was very good. It's a little more firm a meat. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a super tender chicken. Isn't it? Yeah. It's a firm meat. It's very firm. Wow. Any firmer. And look at all them layers. Any firmer now you'd have to cut that with a knife. Yeah, you would. It's not tough. No. It's like a tender chicken. What? Go carp. Mm. Mm. I turned the middle. Uh, over there. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. He's getting cicadas off the top of the water. He's eating cicadas. Mmm. You know what? That drum is delicious, Mark. It's got a crazy texture, doesn't it, David? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's real. If you let that get cold, it might get chewy. It would. I think it would. Right here, my friends. A little salt.
sought after fish in any river in the United States of America. Catfish. And there's a reason. Okay, here's what I think. The drum tasted just as good as the catfish. But the catfish is a lot flakier and tender to eat. Yeah. And the drum was just a little firm. There's another piece of drum right here. Let's see if it's the same. Hmm. It's just a firm fish. But yeah. there ain't nothing wrong with it. The meat's very tight. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We'll stop eating in front of you because y'all, these things make people hungry and I don't guarantee I understand. I get hungry watching myself eat these when I watch a video later. Man, that makes me want to go cook some fish. Sometimes I do. Okay, here's my analysis. They're both delicious. The texture of the drum is so strange for a fish. It's like, it's real firm. And you honestly, you lay it on a plate and cut it with a knife like a, like a chicken filet. And it'd be just, it'd eat it with a fork. Pieces would be wonderful. But it's very tasty, very flavorful. What is David? Yeah, it was. You, you could put this on a sandwich and call it Chick fil A, and nobody ever know the difference. <laughs> True. It'd make a good sandwich, wouldn't it? That drum? Oh, yeah. Well, all right, there you go. All right, get out and keep them drum, folks. Stop throwing them back. Stop throwing them on the bank, letting them die like that, and let the buzzards eat them. I've seen you guys do that all the time. Throw them out on the bank, think they're catching a trash fish. But I'm just telling you, it's it's a fish that, that people don't fully understand the flavor of. It's very good eating fish, very good. It's just a different texture to it. That's all there is to it. But I appreciate you watching this little short video on cooking drum versus catfish. We love them both. We love them both. And that was a big old drum. I just couldn't. I just couldn't throw him back because he was so big. I thought, yeah, you don't catch them that big all the time, do you, David? No. You usually catch drum around here, are one, two, three pounds. You know, that and there probably five or six pounds. So he's worth keeping. Appreciate you watching this video, my friends. Wherever you're at in this world, have a good morning, good day, good night. And I tell you this right now. Appreciate you subscribing. Appreciate you commenting, thumbs up, liking this video, and all that stuff. I just appreciate that. But wherever you're at in this world, have a good day. And uh, there's another video, my friend. It is coming. Right around the corner.